The term rain garden is, is fairly new on the horticultural gardening scene in our country. It came about as uh, water preservation became more prominent in our everyday lives. And uh, it, it's a way of allowing water to go cleaner into the earth than being shed off into drainage systems and expensive water reservoirs and tanks and other confinements of runoff water. Our rain garden is unique because it stood for several years as a retention pond to handle the runoff water from our large parking area. During drought seasons, it's very dry. During rainy seasons, it's quite wet. And on any given day, it may be wet or dry. So we decided to take great advantage of that and really showcase the differences in the weather and really show plants that thrive well in water as well as in very dry conditions, uh, to use it as a teaching tool to uh, show the community how water can be filtered and how you can manage an area that may be a challenging area in a home landscape or a business. Our dry stream bed uh, originated as an attempt to do something different with a swale. Those are basically shallow dipped areas of a lawn that typically are planted with turf. Uh, that is where the runoff water collects. It's often where fertilizer or any pesticides may collect as well. We wanted to show how that can be filtered through pebbles and a dry stream bed that looks attractive when it's dry, but also serves a very important purpose. Water is so very important because we rely on often shallow groundwater sources for our water supply. So it's very important to certainly uh, protect that clean water resource. We have a huge population in South Florida dependent on a limited supply of water and the better care we take of our groundwater, the longer we will not have any problems with where our fresh water will come from. Mm -hmm.